The Paycheck Protection Program or PPP program is out there, but is it right for drivers? We're gonna discuss exactly if a driver can get it. If so, how do they do it? How do they get it forgiven? And when you need to apply? Let's jump in. Hi, I'm Tyler from the Rideshare Guy. Today we're gonna to be talking about the PPP loan and everything that has to do with that, especially for drivers. Let's get started. First, the PPP or Payment Protection Program. Uh, that started last year with the initial stimulus payment. Businesses were able to apply uh, to get a loan, basically to cover expenses, things uh, like mostly payroll to make sure that people, even though a business wasn't able to be open because of the pandemic, they were able to continue to pay their uh, employees and make sure that those employees didn't have to uh, then sign up for unemployment. Um, it also, that same bill was able to help those who needed unemployment, but this was to try to help people stay off of unemployment. So many, many businesses took advantage of it. And initially, um, sole proprietors, it was very difficult, or even impossible for them to get, but now it's changed. Sole proprietors are able to get it a lot easier. So we're going to discuss exactly how to do it. So as you know, as a Uber driver, a courier, whatever uh, it is, as you do as a gig economy now, um, whether it's Amazon or uh, Instacart, anything, you are a sole proprietor, which means you do qualify to apply for the PPP loan. Um, in addition, they recently changed it. So before they were charged, you were able to apply for the PPP loan based off of your net earnings. And now you're able to apply off of your gross earnings. Now, especially for drivers, that is a lot of times a lot more money. Um, as drivers, we try to reduce our income as much as possible. Our miles is a huge um, income that we have to expense that we have to account for when it comes to tax time things like snacks for our passengers or whatever meals as we're driving around all of that stuff is considered a deduction which means that our net earnings is much lower but now the way that everything is you actually get to apply based off of your gross earnings which that number is going to be usually significantly higher and because we are um, not going to be applying for large amounts over 150,000 or even over 50,000 typically um, it's a lot easier to apply and a lot easier to get the loan forgiven also, another huge change is that you no longer disqualified if you have a non-financial uh, felony charge or if you are delinquent or default on your federal student loans. Um, you could be ineligible before, but now that doesn't disqualify you. So now a lot more people who didn't qualify before now are able to apply and get this loan. So it's great um, things for, for everyone and drivers need to get out there and start doing it right away, especially now because the deadline is March 31st. So the end of this month, you have to apply. Now that could change with new laws or whatever the case may be, but right now, March 31st is the day that you have to have that application in to receive funding. And a lot of people are getting funding very quickly from where they apply to get the funding it is a matter of days, depending on where they get the app or where they put the application in and where they try to get the loan. Now to apply for the loan, uh, most banks uh, are already doing this. I know PayPal is doing it um, where you're able to sign up and try to get it right there. Credit unions, uh, typically wherever you already bank, reach out to them and see if they have the payment, the PPP loan um, already working on and that they're able to help you. That'd be a great asset for you, people who've already done it quite a bit. Um, but basically reach out to the banks, find out which one is doing it. Hopefully you have a business account uh, where you're able to do it through because that would make it a lot easier when it comes to trying to get it forgiven because everything is separated from your personal account. Um, but we're going to get into that in just a second. So how and what can you spend the money on once you receive it? So as the name of the payment, the Paycheck Protection Program, it's trying to make sure that you're able to send out paychecks. So if you have employees, that you're trying to use it for payroll. So what can drivers spend the money on? Um, number one, their own payroll. So what you'll do is you figure out how much you would make on an average week and you'd continue to pay yourself that amount of money in order to make up the difference of what you're losing because you're not driving. So number one is uh, payroll, making sure that employees, which as a rideshare driver or a courier, you're your only employee. So you're paying yourself and making sure that you receive that payment. Um, in addition, you could also pay for things like PPE. So things like gloves or sanitizers or masks or things like that you could pay for or even a car wash or an oil change or you know regular maintenance things that you need 
to continue to run your business. So those are some things that you can pay for and use this money for. Um, typically though, you're gonna use it just as a payroll to pay yourself, um, but make sure that you're keeping track of everything. And because as rideshare drivers, we don't make uh, as much money to apply for the large amounts of money, um, usually our loans are gonna be less than $50,000. Um, so uh, we're not gonna be required to submit as much paperwork to make sure that we're being able to be forgiven. Um, so it's very likely that you'll get your loan forgiven very easily with just some simple forms, a one page form to go through. Um, I was looking it up earlier and there's a lot of really simple ways to get it um, forgiven. You just have to apply. And even if it's not forgiven, it's currently right now, what you'll get is a 1% loan that you pay over the course of five years. So a very low interest rate um, that you get and a long time to pay it off. So it works out really well, even if you don't get it forgiven, but most likely if you follow exactly what you need to do, you'll get it forgiven and you won't have to worry about it. The best practice would be to uh, set it up so that the money goes directly into your business account. Uh, then you can pay yourself with that money into your personal account, just like you would receive payment from Uber every week, or if you pay yourself every day, just figure out how much that's gonna be and submit it to, to pay yourself in that increments. Um, that way you're able to have something so that it doesn't kind of all get mixed up. And if you do get audited and have to prove what you spent the money on, um, you have everything very easily accessible. So that's probably the easiest way, best practice, just, uh, and that's for any business related thing. Try to keep business money separate from personal money, only transfer the money over when it's like a payroll or um, you know the, the employee payment or anything like that. Um, just make sure that that's the only time that you do that. Um, but for this, especially you want to have things separate to make it as simple as possible when it comes to getting it forgiven. Again, talking about having the forgiveness, how do you do it? Typically your bank is also the, the same one that you go to get the loan. They're also going to have a way and try to apply for that forgiveness for you. Um, if not, there's a one page document. You can simply Google it and look it up and find this one page document to fill out, especially because our loans are gonna be less than $150,000. Um, so you're able to pay that amount, or you're, so you're able to easily fill out that form and get that forgiven. Um, but again, it should be really simple. Most of your banks are gonna do it for you. So that's really great and something to really look at um, for the benefit and ease of you. So what you take from this as uh, rideshare drivers, couriers, uh, whatever you're doing, you do qualify for the PPP loan. Make sure you apply as soon as possible. March 31st, coming up very quickly, is the deadline. After that, it may be too late because they may not extend it again. So make sure you apply as quickly as possible. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave them in the comments. We read every single one of them. Please, if you like this uh, episode, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We have new episodes coming out almost every single day, every single week. And please stay safe out there, everyone.